We got Saturday night football in prime time this weekend, D.C. Vegas at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, two and a half point favor, total sitting at 38 and a half. Kenny Pickett back after suffering his uh, second brain injury this season. I like how we call things brain injuries as opposed to concussions. It seems more gruesome, but it is what it is. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm actually a little surprised they're – uh, their favorites, like if you told me at the beginning of the year Pittsburgh was going to be favored over Vegas, I'd be like, what? But uh, we do have some pretty good props in this game, at least at least one good one. And a lot of it, I think, is coming from the idea of that all the other games are taking taking the stand for worst weather games. But this game, <laughs> 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, 40 mile gusts. I think it's the second coldest game on the slate. I know cold doesn't have a lot to do with it, but it is sometimes uncomfortable, especially when you have an indoor quarterback like Derek Carr. And we got to play here. Carr under 222 and a half, pass plus rush, minus 110. This is a play. This is also a great thing for betters to get on who missed Carr's passing that was at 225. Um, like I said, this was 235 and a half last week versus New England indoors. And now I don't think this has been adjusted enough, and I think I think your projections are catching that. Yeah, that's really what it comes down to. The line is actually I think two twenty five and a half minus one fifteen, which is which is oh nice. sorry two twenty five and a half correct. And uh, yeah, like like you said, Carr is an indoor quarterback. He's going outdoors, and everyone's talking about okay, there's going to be really bad weather in the New Orleans Cleveland game. You know, yeah. it's windy in the Buffalo Chicago game. We had this growth Jets Jacksonville weather, but. 20, 20 mile per hour winds on any other week. This would be like the wind game. This would be like the bad weather game of the week if this was three weeks ago. Um, and so it's still something, it's a big swing in terms of context for Carr. And I think the the under looks pretty good here. Devontae Adams under four and a half receptions plus 130. Now this is a lean. Now when we're looking at projections, how much of this matchup is this matchup dependent? And how much is obviously related to directly the projections from the quarterback? trickling down to the, the rest of the slate here. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of both more, more the latter, you know, if Carr is not projected to throw for a lot of yards, well, Devante's, you know, not going to be able to get as many, you know, it's, it's the same thing for Devante. He's been playing indoors all year. They're going outdoors. It's bad conditions for passing. They've been running a lot lately. And these are conditions where uh, it would make sense. You know, teams tend to, to lean into the run more when, when you're facing heavy winds like this, and they do have Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro back. So it's not like they're, you know, the guys they were last year, but it is going to make it less likely that Devontae Adams is going to go out and get a 35% target share with, with other legitimate guys in the mix. So if we're looking at, you know, 25 to 30% target share, that is different than what he was getting earlier this year. And, and again, it's bad conditions. Yeah, 16 targets, 7 catches, 99 yards last two weeks, which also came both indoors. So a couple plays here. We have Derek Carr under 225.5 pass plus rush, minus 110. That's a play. And then Devontae Adams under 4.5 receptions, plus 130. That's a lean. Finally, what what's the projection? You Do you have the projection for Carr uh, on this number? I do. It's 195. Uh, I should also note the projection on Devontae is – just about four and a half. So yeah. it's basically a coin flip, but it's a coin flip. We're getting it plus 130. Exactly. I played the coin flip game with Zach Wilson interception on Thursday night and that one lost, but they, but th that's what they are. We will, we'll, I'm sure we'll have another play later uh, this week in a primetime game when we're looking at it, but these are the numbers. You're looking at a 50, 50 coin flip and it's better than minus 110 than over time, you're probably going to be ahead. And that's what this was with Devontae Adams. So let's get things started with Saturday night and then come back for a full slate of three primetime games for Sunday. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Hardy. These are his blitz projections brought to you by Covers today. See you back here for Sunday football.